one week after Jacob Wetterling's killer confessed in court, we're hearing from the blogger and the survivor that Patty Wetterling went out of her way to thank. I also want to say one huge shout out to Jared and Joy. Jared had the courage to stand up and say this happened to me and there are others and they found the others. And they Joy Baker and Jared Shiro first sat down with WCCO TV back in 2014. Their theory at the time, the person who kidnapped and sexually assaulted Jared and other boys in the late 1980s was the same person who snatched Jacob. Law enforcement repeatedly told them they were wrong. But as Esme Murphy shows us, their theory ultimately led to a cold case review of the Wetterly kidnapping and Danny, Danny Heinrich. You had the theory and everybody told you that theory was wrong. Yeah, that's true. And it was disheartening. But this is the story of how blogger Joy Baker and survivor Jared Shirel never gave up. This was scary. This was frightening, horrifying, traumatic stuff. It was the summer of 2013 when Jared agreed to work with Joy on one condition. This man had threatened my life directly. Um, I do not want my name associated with this. And I have children that um, are, are number one, and, and their safety is number one. This guy could still be out here. It was just after that that Joy found a 1987 article in the archives of the Painesville Press that proved a turning point. I called Jared right away. The article detailed a series of unsolved sexual assaults on young boys. This guy is jumping out of the bushes and telling kids, don't look back or I'll blow your head off. 25 years later, um, and I had learned this from, from Joy. Joy reached out to Stearns County Sheriff's investigators. They asked me to send them the article. They, they weren't aware. But the Stearns County Sheriff's Department also wasn't buying Joy and Jared's theory that the Painesville cases, Jared's case, and Jacob's case were connected. Starting in 2004, the BCA and Stearns County had a new theory that Jacob's kidnapper was on foot, not in a car. They had told me that uh, we don't believe that your and Jacob's cases are connected. It got frustrating so many times it really did from the fall of 2013 joy and jared spent hundreds of hours tracking down leads and finding the painesville victims i knew instantly that these guys are somehow associated and and this is the right direction i mean in 2013 early 2014 i mean how often were you contacting stearns county i i'd say three times a week would be a fair fair number um, sometimes three times a day. The three times a day sometimes. Joy blogged the details of their findings and in May of 2014, after months of requests, they agreed to an interview on WCCO television. You were the first person to really step up and say, yeah, this is a big deal. Our 2014 stories with Joy and Jared also featured an interview with Patty Wetterling. You interviewed Patty and Patty said, yeah, this, this could be the guy. We, we've never heard of the Painesville cases. And that was so meaningful. In September of 2014, Joy and Jared were featured on John Walsh's CNN show, The Hunt. The FBI says it was the Walsh special that led them to request in November 2014 a first ever cold case review of the entire Wetterling case. It was that review that led to a new investigation of the man we now know back in early 1990 was a suspect not only in Jacob and Jared's cases, but the Painesville cases too. We had been pretty much told you know, Painesville stuff, not not looking into that anymore. And so to find out that that was important and relevant, yeah, I don't know, it just really made me feel good. Both Joy and Jared say they share the frustration of many of the Painesville victims whose cases were not thoroughly investigated back then or now. There was no justice in their sense. They were not recognized. They were not deemed credible. And that is why Jared chose last Friday to be part of a tribute before the Painesville High football game that honored not just him and Jacob, but the Painesville victims whose forgotten stories helped bring Jacob home. The Stearns County Sheriff's Department declined to comment. The BCA gave us a statement denying that the investigation ever focused solely on Jacob's kidnapper being on foot. Both Joy and Jared say they do not blame law enforcement. Joy Baker's advice to others who find themselves fighting for something when everyone says that they're wrong is to trust your gut. Jared Shirel's advice is to find a blogger to tell your story. Last week, Heinrich finally confessed in court to murdering Jacob and sexually assaulting Jared. In exchange, he'll be sent to prison for 20 years when a judge sentences him in November. Stay with WCCO4 News for continuing coverage of the Wetterling case.